All right, you guys are in for a real treat today because I came across an old video of a story that I often share that when I moved to South Carolina, I had this desire that I wanted to become an actor. So instead of moving out to L.A. or moving to New York, I decided to get an agent in South Carolina. The agent I got was a, a character within himself, but he'd always call me up and say, hey, hey, babe, hey, babe, I got this gig for you. And uh, this was the second gig that this agent got me, and it was a safety video. Uh, there's a guy that would produce his own safety videos that all the major you know, companies, factories would have to buy and then play to their staff so that way they can be trained and educated. In this video, uh, I had no idea. It was a two-day shoot. I probably made like $130 a day. And I was super excited. Uh, I, I'm going to start playing the video. I'm going to have to kind of give you some context as we go because I don't want to play the whole video. It's a little long. I'm just going to pull out the segments that I was in. Hey, Jack, what's happening? Oh, look at that guy. Look at that young Ryan. Uh, that was probably the 90210 look that I was continuing. So this video is probably shot around 97-ish. Hey, Jack, what's happening? Oh, man. <laughs> hey, Al. Al, you're working with me on rescue tonight, right? That's right, me and Sherry. Right, Sherry? How come I always get you two guys, huh? Hey, because we're the best. Right, Richard? Yeah, that's right. One way or another, we'll get you out. <laughs> Now, I didn't know the name or title of this video. All I know is that they asked me to kind of go out there, uh, do these shoots, and do these things. So the next scene that comes, I had no idea what the context of the whole story was. I was just asked to do this part and play my role. Oh, you guys okay down there? What's going on? Talk to me. Get out of there now. Richard, is that you? This is Lewis at tank number five. Yeah, Lewis, go. Something's gone wrong down in the hole. I can't seem to talk to him. OK. Hey, Sherry, Sherry, tank number five, Lewis has got trouble. Put on your harness and your bunker coat. And uh, you remember that 20-foot ladder? You got to get down. Right. Hey, hey, it's Lewis. What's up? Lewis has got trouble down in the hole. Come on, let's go to the truck. Yeah, Lewis, go. OK, I'll wait. Hey, Richard. Let's make sure we got enough portable air. Yeah, that's right. The supervisor said that there were two entrants on the job. We got our respirators, we got our bag. Oh! 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 go in the hole. All right, I didn't know that I played the central role of the dumb guy that was not supposed to go into the hole. He was supposed to maintain the entranceway and make sure nobody else goes in there. I didn't even know I was the key figure uh, that caused all this drama to happen. Maybe not the explosion, but definitely later on you'll hear the guy say that I should have stayed by the entryway. Never knew it. Things uh, for my character, it are going to take a turn for the worst. Take a look. As an attendant, you must also keep unauthorized persons away from the entryway. They must maintain a safe distance, and in the event of an unauthorized entry, you must have them evacuate immediately and inform the entrant and the entry supervisor. But one of the most important tasks you perform as an attendant is calling the emergency services as soon as you determine the entrant is in trouble and needs assistance in escaping from the permit space. And remember this, you must remain at the entryway until the rescue team arrives and do not allow any unauthorized person to enter or attempt a rescue, a fact to which Lewis should have paid attention. Ah. Yeah. I might have found something. What is it? Uh, it's 
Richard. I found him loose. No, he isn't alive. Should we bring him on up now? Yikes! If my kids are watching this, I'm still alive, and I hope this isn't too scary for you. Uh, the thing about that scene right there was that the director wanted me to go into this, uh, you know, uh, liquid, you know, trap. So there was a gas tanker, and if it spill, it, it would just fill up in this, uh, you know, in this concrete kind of barricade, so as to prevent any liquid from spilling all over the place. So they filled that up with water and then asked me to get in there. And at first I didn't feel comfortable to get in there and open my eyes, but there was a paramedic on, uh, on the shoot and I had asked him, hey, is this something that's safe to do? And he reassured me that I was safe. So they filled up the tanker, I got in, we got that shot. And that's a classic shot that I've never been able to share with any of you guys, but that was one of my you know, famous shoots of trying to be an actor in South Carolina. But uh, let's watch the end of this video. Gas line. And finally, with the best of intentions, but against all his training, the attendant Louis Acosta failed to remain at his post, entered the confined space, and lost his life. Earl Swinger and Matty Rourke survived the blast. They received broken bones and superficial wounds. Louis, needlessly, lost his life. Uh, I lost my life. You know, that wasn't the only safety video that I did when I was in South Carolina. Uh, I'll have to share that another day. But, you know, I've been telling people about this safety video, the time I was an actor in South Carolina. And I finally found the video and I thought I'd share it with you guys because I know a lot of people might think that I'm always trying hard to be on TV and I probably am and I probably come across as that. It's because I've always just had this desire to kind of shoot video, kind of put some content out there and my desire to kind of be on film and be on uh, some sort of video dates back a lot longer than people probably realize. So I just wanted to share that awesome video. Uh, be careful. You know, please don't go into confined spaces. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this little brief video about my history. And otherwise, I hope to see you in the real world.